It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we'll get to see a battle for conference superiority. It's the Chicago Bears and the Los Angeles Chargers on Sunday night. Southern California has a new modern home for NFL football, and it is this place, wondrous SoFi Stadium here in Inglewood. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the L.A. Chargers. Brandon Gaughan alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones, turnover, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football gives their defense a break and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. The ball on the tee, we're set for football. And we are underway here in Los Angeles. This taken in at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Here are the Chargers ready to go on offense, led by their first-round pick in 2020. The man out of Oregon, Justin Herbert. It hasn't taken Herbert long to earn the status of one of the league's best and most entertaining passers. He's locked and loaded on every snap. In the second he sees an opening, the ball soaring downfield. You've got to be on your A game at all times against him. The second you slip up, he's liable to burn you. Now their versatile running back. Here's Austin Eckler. And some space here. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Opening quarter, his opening carry of the game, and I think they'll give it to him a few more times, as they should. You're exactly right about that. With that type of a run, you want to repeat it many times until they show signs of stopping it. I think he did his visualization exercise before this one, and they're paying off. And it appears we have a charger shaken up on that last play. More from L.A. in a moment. Now second and five. Here's Herbert. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Now it's Herbert. Big yardage there on the scramble. And it gets him a first down. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. First down, Justin Herbert. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Darius Davis, a 
24-yard touchdown. And the Chargers will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Let's make no bones about it. On paper, they're the better team. They're at home. That's a strong opening drive. And just think how many times we've seen this type of a matchup. Just what you said. Better team at home should steamroll them. And we've seen it go the other way. Sometimes, though, they buy into it and understand we are the better team. Let's go and prove it right now. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And it's now a 7-0 game. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. So here now the Bears offense for their first drive of the game. They'll be led out by a man who nearly broke the single season rushing record for quarterbacks last season. A true dual threat out of Ohio State, Justin Fields. And not only does he have all the skills that you're looking for as a quarterback, he's incredibly tough and plays the game fearlessly as both a runner and a passer. You provide a good running game around him and let him throw deep off of play action, you've got an all-star in the making. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you've got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On the option right, it's Fields. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. Here's Travis Homer, the former Miami Hurricane. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. The field's going to take this himself. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. Anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Field's going to keep it once more. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. From the gun on third down, Fields. Out to the flat here for Johnson. And he's going to be stopped here at the 43, and that is not near enough to pick up the first. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? On fourth down, Fields. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A big pickup there, 20 yards as they convert on fourth. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, 
you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense. They can't get the stop here. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. That run wasn't a big breaker, but I don't think the guys on offense mind very much. They've got a nice drive going, and they might just be luring the defense in a little bit. They can probably come back with a play action, maybe go over the top. But right now, on this drive, their playbook is open. Here's Johnson again on second down. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the plays we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Now Fields. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Justin Fields. An 18-yard touchdown run. And the Bears respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Well, the defensive coverage was good, so good, he just decided to make a play of his own, and it worked out. Yeah, you often wonder if they think to themselves, was the coverage too good to allow him to run the football? But I think you'd rather take your chances with him doing exactly that, and he beat him on that play all the way to the end zone. Santos with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it was all capped off by the Justin Fields touchdown run. He took it in himself. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. He's past the 30. He will score. Touchdown, Chargers. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. Dicker down to tack on the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14 7 now here in the first quarter. And no doubt, one of the most, if not the most, exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. Scott on the return out of the end zone. Well, now how about this return? And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Now a first down throw, Fields. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task 
and force the incompletion. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. They'll give up the middle to Johnson. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. That play reminds you that the rich got richer is the league's best rushing offense, and it Johnson in the draft. Spent his college career in the shadow of teammate B. John Robinson in Texas, which hit the fact that Johnson is quite capable of shouldering an offense. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 14 yards into Chicago first down. Every guy that plays this game has plenty of people around him that are concerned for his health and well-being. He had no regard for his body on that catch <laughs> at all, did he? Middle of the field diving to grab it? No, he didn't. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. Up the middle, Johnson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. They go to Johnson again. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. I think we got to give it up for him right there. That's a heck of an athletic move for a big man right in the middle of the line. How about the play he makes there? Nowhere to run, and he finishes that one off for a loss. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Here's Fields. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. Well, we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost art in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down. They gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go and make the tackle right away. Santos' kick is up and through. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Following the made field goal, out instead is the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick this away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They started on the ground with Eckler. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. They had three tight ends in that formation. That's almost a universal sign that they're planning to run the football. But how about the defense there? They met force with force and caused a stack up behind the line of scrimmage and threw him for a loss. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Dancing to his left. And Herbert going to slide to his stop, and he has a first down. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. This early in the game, it's all about making steady progress downfield. 
hoping to lead to early points. And you can do it with your actual play calls or sometimes something a little more improvised as we just saw there. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. They'll try the air now with Herbert. Now, this is intercepted. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked up by Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker. And he'll take it across midfield and down to the 48-yard line. Boy, he had to fit that into a pretty tight window over the middle. And, Charles, I think they were in zone defensively, weren't they? They certainly were. Nice read on your part. And sometimes the quarterback isn't fooled between zone and man. Sometimes just fooled by the type of zone that he sees. Because oftentimes those linebackers will vacate and run downfield with receivers. In this case, he played a pure zone and was in the wrong spot for the QB. A first down carry here for Johnson. And he'll work down inside the 45. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. From the 44-yard line, here's a second down and six. On the option left is Fields. Yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. So not his arm, but hurting him with his legs. A gain of 19 on the keeper and a first down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. On first and 10, here's Fields. And Lewis has it, the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. On second down, Johnson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. Throwing on third down, Fields. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That'll go as a pickup of eight. Well, I don't want to be a jinx partner and put the whammy on him, but I think we could be looking at an all-time damn the ground with the way that he's going. Only a few quarterbacks in this league are capable of a 100-yard game, and he's halfway there just in the first quarter. This is a record-setting pace. Hopefully, he can keep it up, and we can have fun watching it. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. They'll come up second and seven. Fields now to throw. Touchdown, Bears! Cole Komet, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Bears have moved out in front. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. Santos now to add the PAT. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. 
So this drive spans seven plays. And it was all capped off by Cole Komet with a touchdown catch. To the touchdown. Here's the punter Trenton Gill to kick it away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25 yard line. LA set to take over again on offense. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Now a dump off here complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? They were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle, and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. We'll see what they have drawn up here, a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Partner, I came into this game eager to see how they would hold up in man coverage. And on that play, they held up quite well. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. Forty-three yards on the punt, return of four, and it will be first and ten as they take over. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And they have to be pleased with the way that they've moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now. The field goal probably feels like a disappointment. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Fields. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. This is where the NFL is headed year by year, partner. A league where just about everyone has someone under center who can get you with their legs as well as their arm. And we've certainly had a nice display of that from both QBs in this game. And that continued with that first down run. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll hand it off now. Johnson. Eric Kendricks in on the tackle. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. 
Here's Fields now on second down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's more. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 25-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. When the hitch route has run really well, that jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space, all you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. Bottom line is that he is just something else as a runner because there are not many QBs in this league who can rip off a game that big, and he did it with the defense giving him a little extra attention after he hit him on a run earlier this series. Eluding the pressure, and he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields. Taking it in from four yards out. And they are able to add on to their advantage. The quarterback run has eaten him up all game long. And there he goes again, this time into the end zone. And what I like about what I'm seeing, absolutely running almost with impunity. He's not worried about his body. He's not worried about sliding. He's not worried about protecting himself. He's worried about getting yardage. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, you've got to start figuring out what these blocking schemes are and finding ways to defeat them. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They're down now 24-14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Eckler's long been one of the most underrated players in the NFL, but he's now starting to get his due. 915 yards, a career best last season with 13 touchdowns on the ground. First down, and they stick with Eckler to about the 40-yard line. Well, in every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Back to throw here, Herbert. That's caught by the rookie, Quentin Johnston. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Here comes third in the length of the football. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. It's Eckler again. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. 
Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Up the middle with Eckler. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Herbert now. He's going to dump this one down to Kelly. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Third and two, Herbert. Well, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down by a couple of yards as they get five there on fourth and three. As a defender, I always found the slant route extremely difficult to cover unless you're able to jump on top of it early because once he gets his hands on the ball, he's at full speed going away from you. It, just, it all happens in the blink of an eye, doesn't it? It really does. The timing is so important. That ball's got to be out of the hands of the quarterback and to the receiver like that. And if it is, you often get a very successful play. From the 21, here's second and six. Herbert back to the air. And that's into the hands of Eckler. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. Eckler now between the tackles. And able to surge forward for about five yards down to the 10. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Ball sits on the 10, second and five. Once more, here's Eckler. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. The job of any linebacker involves having enough strength to fight off a blocker and get to ball carriers, but in this case, I think we can safely say he beat him right off the snap to get into the backfield and make that play. Going to throw on third down with Herbert. Touchdown! Josh Palmer in an 11-yard touchdown. And the Chargers are back within a score. An excellent, long, sustained offensive drive. And now they can look across the field and see a defense that looks a little bit beaten down. Right now, as an offensive coordinator, you're thinking to yourself, can I dial up the knockout punch? The extra point try now from Dicker. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all told. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Josh Palmer. Now after the Dicker field goal, he's back out ready to send it away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. 
A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That complete hits Tyler Scott with it. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Back to throw, Fields. That's complete to Mooney. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 41 yard line. Last play they got stuffed at the line. Different story here over 20 yards. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open. Puts it right on him and they pick up a first down. So from Charger territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 41. Now it's Fields. Throw left side is complete on the diving effort. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. I felt that one all the way up here. How about that big man laying out and making that catch? Yeah, that wasn't a 180-pound wideout. That was a tight end. One play action, Fields. He'll buy some time right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both of these offenses having their way so far. So maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown on their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. Santos' kick is up and through, and the drive will wind up yielding three. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. Following the made field goal, out instead is the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick this away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play so what you need 
is someone on the defensive side of the ball leader, right? to make a big play. Yeah. Throw that balance out of whack. That's what you're looking for now. Not worrying so much about guessing what the play call is. And some room to work. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 82 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that. The nickel look, five cents, five DBs. But what also happens then, you take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes, you can run the football effectively against that defense. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. What with the kind of half he's had, I think we can forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build on that because he's eating them alive in the first half. On second down, Eckler. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he will be out of bounds. A good yardage there. And he'll get a second to catch his breath as it leads us right into the two-minute warning. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Herbert operating from the red zone. Open man. Johnston, touchdown Chargers. From 17 yards out, and the Chargers are an extra point away now from moving out in front. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening, but they found the opening and exploited it. Dicker now to tack on the extra point. And with that, his guys take the lead here by a point. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was Quentin Johnston who finished that drive off with a touchdown grab. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Onto the field now come the Bears. We have been treated to great offense on both sides. The defense is on the other end of the spectrum. They're just searching for answers right now, aren't they? And for most defenses, it's a very uncomfortable and in a lot of ways unfamiliar spot because points are going to be scored. But the way we're seeing them today, it's almost like there's no resistance. They've got to figure out how to slow these offenses down. Maybe someone on either side can make a big play and start to wreck and disrupt the timing that we're seeing. As we get closer to halftime here. On first down, they look downfield, and it's complete. Give him 30 yards there. And this is how you answer a touchdown the other end. You come out throwing to start your own drive. And not just throwing but pushing it down the field. And they come up with a big play as they try to answer back with a score of their own. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Here's Fields. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Their entire offense has been centered on him, and he's been carrying the load with ease. 100 yards rushing in a game for a quarterback is rare. In a single half, darn near a masterpiece. The Bears moving hastily in the hurry-up offense. Here's Fields. That's complete right side to commit. 
And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 28. It's a 10-yard pickup, and that's enough to move the chains. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Off the draw. Here's Johnson. And he stopped immediately there. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Third down and one. Fields now to throw. He's got his running back. The ball comes out and picked up by the Chargers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He has been a workhorse for them in this game, and ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it, when he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. The Chargers going to take over here one more time before the half, and they'll begin inside their own 10, so field position certainly not in their favor here. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Out of the gun, Fields. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. So nothing doing there, and it'll be second and goal. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Santos' kick is up and through, and they have regained the lead. So that's three field goals for him now, but heck, he's not even halfway to his career best of seven. Seems like the seven field goal games are the kind of games I always get assigned to in my other job. Let's hope for this offense's sake they can start cashing in on a few of these drives. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. 
Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And the Bears offense set to go to begin the third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now that's a run that warms a play caller's heart because you're actually set up to do whatever you want on offense. You can come right back and run essentially the same play because you have momentum. Or you can fake that running play and throw something deep over the top. Or you now feel like you have an extra down to play with because if you go ahead and just throw it and you don't get it, come back and try to pick it up on third down. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Beating him there with his legs, 21 yards, first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. From the gun, a run for Johnson, and he'll work down inside the 45. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. Second down and six now. Again, it's Johnson. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. Fields on first down. Over the middle complete. That's Scott. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Fields. Takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Justin Fields from 17 yards out. And the Bears take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. 
Not the first time on this drive we saw him take matters into his own hands, and this time he finishes things off with a touchdown run. You're not going to be happy with me, but I think he took matters into his own feet, didn't he? No. Oh. <laughs> Davis from the top rope. <laughs> I like it. Santos with the extra point, and that makes this a nine-point game. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Returnable here for Davis. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Now we'll look at the Chargers offense. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Well, the opposition laid down the challenge and opening drive touchdown here to start the second half. And Charles, now you feel like this group needs to get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, manageable spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he works free. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 105 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Right back to him on first down. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. They've been running it well all game, and why not? The big guys up front, they're just having a ball, creating monster holes for their guys to run through. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's second and a couple. On the give, this is Eckler. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action, but other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. Now, well, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield or man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Here's J.K. Scott now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. The Bears offense out there set and ready to go. They're rocking and rolling, but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference. You know, maybe it's one of those games where coaches say you can't miss your turn on offense. I like the way you phrased it, especially with that. I love that rocking and rolling because the explosions on offense are happening. So that's going to get the crowd going. They're loving that. But defensively, they just can't get it together to get the stops they've needed in order to help increase their margin. They've got to find a way. But you're not counting on it. That's exactly what you said. Can't miss your turn. Can't miss your opportunity. <laughs> yeah, they're going for another opportunity now. Well, they obviously read man coverage there, partner. And he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield. Then he curls back inside for the completion. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the lot of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. I think what we just saw there, partner, was linebacking speed that can trump O-line power. We see that at times because he filled the gap before the offensive lineman could get to the next level and take him on. A shotgun snap, Fields. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on catching the ball and not much run after the catch third and three a 
And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And it'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? Here comes the Bears punter now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. He gets it to Johnston. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. It's caught inside the 25. A big play there for L.A. 41 yards. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Herbert now. This throw caught right around the six. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Eckler. We'll get about halfway there as he takes this from the four down to the two. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. On second and goal, here's the option. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Justin Herbert scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Chargers have got it back to within a score. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Extra point try now from Dicker. And the lead is down to two. Five plays there on that drive. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Fields and the Bears now with a first and ten. At 
at their own 23. He'll start with a handoff to Johnson. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Here's Johnson again on second down. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. To throw his fields. And pass complete to Moore. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 14 yards into Chicago first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Partner, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual threat role. Really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. Nice pickup, 10 yards and a first down on the keeper. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this, I'll take it, I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. Now a first down throw, Fields. Looks for the out route, and it's complete to commit. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 11 more on that one, and another first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. The busy night continues for Johnson. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 74 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. And he's down to about the two. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. From the two now, second and goal. Johnson trying to get to the goal line, but he's going to be stopped just short at the one. Call it a gain of a couple. The defense stiffening here. It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Bears. Deontay Foreman. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Bears will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up. 
down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that makes this a nine-point game. After the touchdown, here's the punter Trenton Gill to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Possession switching back now to the Chargers. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Here's a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 44-yard line. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. He takes this for about six down inside the 40. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's Charger football, but they trail here as we get going in quarter number four. Herbert. He'll get this over the middle here to Palmer. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes. You're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Now a second and 10. Back to throw here, Herbert. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Quentin Johnston, the intended receiver on the play, and it's third down. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Boy, he almost did that himself, but it looks like he's about a foot or two short. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. That looked great when he first took off because in my mind, there was room to run and he had the marker in his sight. But I certainly didn't expect him to close so quickly and neither did he. They got to him just in time, and now that forced him to make a decision with his fourth down call. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. And this a 39-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that'll move him back within six now. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. Now, 
after the Dicker field goal. He's back out, ready to send it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. But now the Bears coming out as they get ready. The field goal we just saw has this now at a one-score game. And on this side of the football, things are getting pretty tenuous, a little stressful. Blood pressure up a little bit, you think? I think up a lot of it. Uh, could you imagine taking the <laughs> pulse right now? Might be like a jackhammer out there on that side of the ball. But here's what the deal is. I think what we've observed is a team that's been playing not to lose as opposed to playing to win. And they've got to get back to that. And that means opening things up again, being a little more free than what they're trying to get done on offense. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. That's a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. But they get back in the huddle. He's got, to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Looking to throw on second down. Fields. Gets around him. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. It's getting cold in here, partner, because it looks like he's trying to ice this one away. Yeah, I know. Bad dad joke, but what the heck, right? Scrambling for that first after the D blanket his receivers, that's a backbreaker for the defense. They finish this drive off with six, and this one could be over. Fields throw complete here to commit. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. A first down carry here for Johnson. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 103 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Justin Fields, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Bears will add to their fourth quarter lead. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it. But he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. They'll try and run for it with Johnson. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. And so they run it in on the two-point try. You know, so often, Charles, we talk about, from the offense's perspective, what you do on the two-point conversion. How about the defense? How do they play run versus pass? It's really difficult for them because I think most teams want to play for the pass. That's what they see most teams do. And so are you able to mass enough people inside if the team decides to run it? Very difficult. I think what you're seeing a lot more now, people blitzing the two-point conversion. They want you to make it a quick decision and make it right now. There, the offense wins the battle for two. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 
Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Running on first down, Eckler. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charger first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this a little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Normally, you think the tight end is going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Second and 10. Right offense, keep the ball, the a shotgun snap for Herbert. On the out route, he finds Johnston. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 14. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Good yardage on the completion there, and when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. From the five now, second and a yard. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And he's got his man, it's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Gerald Everett, a five-yard touchdown. And the Chargers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. tackled a yard short of the marker good gain of nine on first down 
If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Here's Johnson again on second down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Well, so much for that possession. Yeah, I think he tried to do a little too much there, partner. He tried to keep it himself. End up getting buried in the backfield, and that brings up fourth down. Here comes the Bears punter now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Returnable here for Davis. It's a 42-yard punt, but eight on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And it feels like the momentum has shifted. They scored, then their defense forces that last punt. And now a chance to tie the game on this possession. Chargers in good field position to start out. First and 10 at their 36-yard line. They started on the ground with Eckler. He stiff arms it. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. From the 50, here's Herbert. A little short pass. This is Everett. So five yards here, five on the play. And it's second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. Now a toss, running left, Eckler. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 25 yards, the pickup there, and also a first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Herbert operating from the red zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chargers. Josh Palmer with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Dicker now to tack on the extra point. And no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. A drive there of just four plays. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Josh Palmer. This one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Bears now ready to take over again. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back.
Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. And they'll begin by running the option. Fields hit and the ball is loose. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. Well, so much for the four minute offense. They were trying to reduce the clock, get in position to win the game, and leave no time for them to come back and catch them. And guess what? They turned the ball over. Out, yeah. yeah, I mean, they had it all set up for themselves, and they let it get away. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. And the fumble recovery certainly has put them in the driver's seat. First and ten, all tied here in the fourth. Now Herbert following the turnover. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had it and dropped it. That is an unforced error there, and it takes away what could have been a touchdown. Here's second and ten. Here's Herbert. Got a man. It's Allen for the Charger touchdown. Keenan Allen, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers have broken our tie and have taken a fourth-quarter lead. So what a comeback here. They looked like they might be down and out not too long ago, but they have rallied back to take a fourth-quarter lead. And I think we've got to give them nothing but credit for figuring things out on the fly because mentally they were on the ropes ready to go and they hung in there and made some changes and adjustments and that led to some big plays and it turned this game on its ear. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Bears offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at the 20. They'll start out here with the option left. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Not a big run on the first play of the drive. But that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. From the 22, here's second and eight. Field's going to keep it once more. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. And that one will go for 13 yards on the keeper. And a first down. Well, that's the fear any defense has when the quarterback gets involved in the running game. You don't usually account for him, and he's hurting them today. Yeah, he's been very involved in the running game. Defensively, when you've got the coverage good downfield, how do you account for him, though? Occasionally, you start to spy him. Take someone that's the same agility, who can dance with him, run with him, and try and keep him in the pocket. Yeah, that'll be especially critical here as we come down the stretch in the fourth. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Here's Johnson again on second down. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. 
First down for the Bears, a gain of 15. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? On first and 10, here's Fields. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And he's got this down to the 35. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. On first down, it's Fields. That's complete to Mooney. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Another try from the 19, second and 10. Now Fields. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one-possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. Here's Fields. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. But that incompletion reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Here we go. This is fourth down. They snap it to Fields. And he's got Mooney in the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Jarnell Mooney from 19 yards away. And the Bears are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch tomorrow the extra point a vital one and he gets it to go and we are tied here in the fourth quarter Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. Herbert going to throw. Finding Allen. And some strong running. Finding space at the 40. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. Mm -hmm. 
Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Herbert. That quick throw there is incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Throwing Herbert. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks, but when it's a star back there, even more so are they going to be diligent about throwing the flag. Herbert. Turn the out route incomplete. That's Palmer. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's first and ten. Now they'll fake the jet sweep and give it instead to Eckler. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as it comes with a minute 15 left to go in the second half. They'll come up now on second down. It's Eckler again. They'll get him to the ground at the 20 following a pickup of four. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here is third and five. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. Have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to take the lead here in the final minute. And his kick here is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there. It gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. So now Fields and the Bears, down by a field goal, a little over 20 seconds to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. to throw fields and that 
is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. They'll try again here. Second and ten. All eyes on fields. He's got a man complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. It was a long shot, but they did get one final chance to try to score and overcome this small deficit. No touchdown, though, Charles. And that brings this one to a close. Yeah, I think Hope was wearing one jersey and Worry was wearing another on the other sideline as that final snap played out. Now, we've seen some incredible plays to win games before, but in this case, I think the distance is just a little bit too great for it to happen here. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Southern California, so long, everybody.